Hey, it's Sterling with JDS Labs, and this is your guide to getting started with Atom DAC. Step one, you'll want to start by connecting your source to your DAC's input. If you're using a computer or a gaming console, you'll be using the included USB-A to USB-B cable. For phones and tablets with USB-C or Lightning connection, but no standard USB, you'll need an adapter or a separate cable. We've included links to those in the description below. For devices that support it, there's also an optical input. If you're unsure about which may be better, don't be. USB and optical modes perform similarly in all current JDS Labs DACs, so use whatever is most convenient for you. Step two. Next, you'll connect your RCA cables to your amp or other device. Here we're connecting to our Atom amp with the JDS Labs stack cables. Step three. All that is left to do is connect to power. Atom DAC is always on, so don't make the mistake of pressing the light ring on the front. It's not a power button. If you need to, you can switch between the inputs with the button on the front of the DAC. For the vast majority of you, Atom DAC will be plug and play. However, there are some situations where additional configuration is needed, particularly if you're running Windows 9 or an older OS. If that's you, we recommend heading over to our troubleshooting section at jdslabs.com forward slash support. And for everybody else, enjoy your new Atom DAC and make sure to get in touch if you have any more questions.